it's been pointed out to me that my uh, interest in Skylab is uh, borderline obsessive. It's the link between Apollo and the shuttle. Because if you look at, you know, the, the final mission, Skylab 4, somebody like Ed Gibson, the, the science pilot at the uh, Apollo telescope mount, he was doing things that were kind of analogous to what they were planning to do on the space shuttle, you know, which was very long kind of observations and shifts. I mean, and that really taught NASA, you know, and, and really space flight in general, you know, how are we going to work in space for you know, extended periods of time. And how are we going to work in an on orbit laboratory? The lessons they learned from Skylab medically, scientifically, uh, and otherwise is going to, it's going to teach people how to live long term on, you know, the moon or Mars, which is where obviously places we're looking towards. So I hope that summarizes it. But yeah, I just love it. Uh, And plus, there was a ton of drama with Skylab. People (laughs) don't, uh, there was so much drama with that program that some of it's a little petty. Wasn't there a mutiny of some kind? Ah! (laughs) (laughs) Just had to go there. Just had to go there. No need to respond. Wow. I screamed kind of, I was like. Yeah. Yeah. There was 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 cursing on spacewalks too back then, Rod. It was a workflow issue. I, I try to, yeah, it was oh, a well work. put. Yeah, it was work a workflow issue. <laughs> work Aren't issue. they all, though, really?